Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech, right? This is my next video for you. This is the is the HR092280 heatsink from Thermalrite and the Pro worth buying. Uh, let's find out, is it? <laughs> right, so uh, there's both of them right here. There is the Pro, which is basically looking like a skyscraper. Look at the size on that. That is huge. I mean, this is literally the guy she cheat me on with, is because of the size, okay? And then this is basically the little brother. Look at that. That, But this has got a bit more of a premium look to it. It's got a thermal right for there, as you can see. And both of them together, obviously you can see which one's bigger. <laughs> Yeah, look all the way up to the camera through. This is the Pro, and this is the normal version. It doesn't say a Pro or anything, it just says the normal one. So, basically, yeah, one of these I've actually got, one of my hard my SSDs in, my NVMEs. This is from my Western Digital Black uh, Gen 4 drive. This is the one I use for all my games. So, this one I have used, and I have done a few benchmarks, but I'm not going to put graphs. I'm just going to tell you what I actually initially had because the thermals, I mean, I didn't play a lot of games. I only played GTA mainly. And generally, when it comes to uh, NVMe drives, you're going to get more of a, um, a heat load when you're playing games. Essentially with this one, where my boot drive is literally above my graphics card, which is like that. And the GPU is literally like that to it. So yeah right then so as for the um the temperatures now stock a stock uh heatsink you get with your motherboard some motherboards don't have it like the one that's in my test system but here it doesn't have an onboard uh an included heatsink so it just runs it like that and as i is in a gen 3 a uh, gen 4 i didn't test it on that because gen 4 isn't initially going to be a lot hotter so what i did I played uh, GTA for about half hour to 45 minutes with the stock cooler, the heatsink that comes with your motherboard. Now, the idle temps are 35, but what it initially, when you start playing a game and obviously you've got the GPU going, the CPU going, it's going to generate a lot of heat, and this is where a heatsink would come in from more airflow through the system, it will initially cool it down. And the idles were 35, but the max was 50 Celsius, and that shot up within an instant of starting to play GTA. It, it did go to 51, but it went straight back down to 50, so a bit strange. Uh, Gen 4 is enabled, so it does generate more heat. Now, playing GTA 5 with this one, this cooler right here, it was... Uh, idle at 30 celsius and the max was 45 which considering for a heat sink that's still a, a five degree difference on idle and a five degree difference on max temperatures exactly the same run through with the games exactly the same time 30 minutes to 45 minutes and with the pro the pro was more interesting because the idles were 28 celsius and the max was a 42 that could be generally because of the size as well as it's got literally two heat pipes one there which goes directly there and then there's another one by there so it's got two heat pipes where this one's only got one so that one that that's obviously going to be the more that's going to be the more um one you want essentially if you've got a boot drive and you've got a big powerful gpu and it's generally a lot of heat. That one is the best one because with airflow in the system, that should run just fine. So the stock temps are inexorable. Now, if you run a, uh, now with stock temps, if you run uh, your your drive at either Gen four, or Gen three, there's gonna be a degree in differences with temperature. Now. If you was just to leave it as it is standard without enabling um, Gen 4 in the BIOS, then Gen 3 drives, you initially you should be alright. They don't generally uh, generate enough heat to really want to buy an NVMe heatsink. But 
if you enable your Gen 4 and you notice the stock um, the stock temperature is without a um, heat sink, the temperatures would definitely be higher. But just say you buy like the um, Gaming Pro Wi-Fi that I got MSI, it does come with both heat sinks for the bottom slot M.2 and the top. So if you initialize them, the initialize of the, the stock temps will alright. But with hot summers coming in the UK, which is, will be here very soon, it's literally like 17 degrees right now. <laughs> and it's still the morning, so with hotter temperatures, you're going to get, obviously you, you want better cooling. So I'd recommend, out of the both of them, looks, this one looks better because it's got the thermal right and when it's like that that looks a lot better but for performance i would recommend the pro because it's initially bigger it's got a big additional heat heat pipe and this will generally uh cool down the the chips on your mvme on, on your NVMe a lot quick, a quicker because it's bigger as well it's got more fins as well as the extra heat pipe it should generate the heat more it should push the heat away should generate the heat away better so yeah um, I will try and find to see if I can find a link uh, for the both of them I don't know if I will be able to because generally a lot of thermal right products they're trying to bring them over but it's hard it's hard going it's taking time but generally it's gonna take time so yeah uh i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like don't forget to share also make sure you subscribe for saturday because the entire water cooling build is coming saturday so make sure you subscribe this is richard from welsh tech i hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye